be so cool. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, Let's do it. Oh. We'll try to think of a two ways to feel the movement. Like it is initiated from outside, like the space around us moves us, and we can imagine ourselves to be like a, a big banner, a, a flag, a sail, uh, any substance, a leaf, which can be moved by the outer force, or we can approach it differently, like it, it's coming from within us, and how the movement can be initiated internally, and and that can be the the source for the movement. And we'll try to go through a, a simple combination, but visualize different initiation, how we can receive the, the impulse to move from outside or how we can create it from inside. And I, I hope the, the difference would be uh, obvious and it's not that one would be better than another, it would be different, but as we call in this class exploration, so I want you to explore that at some point uh, one is better and at some point other is better. Uh, well, let's say something internal might be better in the Roomba or some church where we, the process and the rhythmicality of this whole body parts is, uh, is important to be presented. But for example, some traveling steps in Plaza, we definitely don't want to look like it's getting from inside. We, we want to be, be like a moving statue that we are there, uh, keeping the consistency of the structure and visualization that we are moved by the outer force can be a better idea. And again, some being aware of both can help you to maybe at some places combine them. Visualize that you can do a certain internal preparation, but then the moment when you want to shift in space, you want to present the clarity of your spine shift, like, like moving a sail. And how, what's cool, if you see the sail and the boat, and the wind is invisible, but the boat movement is visible. And, and that's when some dancers shifting across the floor with the clarity of this aspect, or some like doing a lot of actions, but they're forgetting that their spine have to present the, that the overall picture can look stronger, more appealing, more dominating if the feeling of shifting your weight is also present. Yep, let's, let's try. The steps shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, and we, it will be like Roomba, but something coming over this will go. Right leg forward, we'll do a syncopated step back. Two, three, and four. From here, we'll go grab walks to the right. Two, three, four. Let's say turning diagonally to the left corner. From here, oh, sorry. From here, we'll be leaning into a three step run. Three and four. And here, we'd like you to stop on the ball of the foot, roll. And feel that there is a force moving you back. From here, we'll go into a split position. We'll open our hands. And then we will be, what we are doing? Growing up. Preparing our leg in front. And repeating the same combination, but in reverse form. So here we'll go back, syncopated, grab walks, prepare for your run, 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 stop, run, run back, split, open your arms, go up, prepare in front, and leave. Replace. 
side, cross, little change of direction, ready, run, 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 run backwards, split, arms, growing up, crossing the leg in front, syncopated step, side, cross, side, choosing the right diagonal, falling or balance, running, three step, running backward, split, arms, growing, preparing the leg. We don't exactly need the particular time, but let's just give a certain structure so that we still be attached to the idea of the Sarumba. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four one two three and four one and two three four one two three and four one two three four one Two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one. Yeah. Good. One more time. One more time. All oh, good. 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 Oh, cool. I'll do it, of course, many more times with you. So at first, let's think of idea that we moved from outside. Um, of course, more obvious the the plane, the frontal plane, and the like the idea of a front and back surface to receive some sort of push or, or, or like a little wind blowing something which felt like coming at us and let's say one of the aspects here is to maintain integrity that we wobble less and um, let's say what will be important for the sale to be attached to the to the main uh, stick and to be attached to the cross stick yes that that's the main thing for the sale to perform its function then you regulate it so something like that, like that idea of your integrity from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom, and from left to right. So the moment when you're about to move, you're just thinking of presenting this volumes, your width and your height. Yeah. But then there are right after the beginning, there are steps sideways. That's where we should imagine that we have a very big elephant ears. So when we blow to the side, we also have enough surface to be pushed, or like we're suddenly opening a shield or something, that we also can be re receiving and be sensitive to the, to the side movement. And idea is pretty much the same of keeping integrity. Uh, let me go with you and then I'll... Just one more thing. When we change in direction, so here we say, and I would like you to visualize that the motor you want to do a cross step. Usually we are approaching it like a like a twist underneath. Let's just think a little more simplified. Like you're walking and somebody punching you into the shoulder. So then that something would be turning you. Yeah, the outer force. And when we're running back and forward. Think that like you're staying, you're waiting for the, uh, oh, I don't know, before they invented a, a corridors between airplane and the terminal. They, they roll this thing, the, what, how you call this? I don't know the word. Is it just stairs or, or a particular word? Okay. Like, Somebody pushing you from the plane, but you're waiting for the stairs to be rolled to the plane. So you're enduring this before you're allowing the movement to go. Yeah? Or whatever other better image you might come. Let's do it. 
starting, checking the, the holes, holes from top to the bottom, from left to right, and receiving the sense of strong wind towards us, and then letting our legs just carry us. And of course, I started with normal legs. So. Right away. Let's even test it. Like when we stay and we have a little pressure over the right foot, ooh, how the first blow of the wind we're taking and it carries us from split to one leg. Then as it continues to move, we're ready to place our leg and in some way present the simplicity of the move. We will invigorate it soon with all the things, but let's just do a thing. Ready, and two, three, and four. So on one, we're experiencing the strong blow from the side, and moving now, boom, a little blow into the shoulder, boom. and then a little blow to the right shoulder, yeah? Right and left, boom. right, left. Now we're being pushed out of the airplane, but we're waiting for that. Ah, stairs to be served. And here, it's up to you. You can think that now the wind is changing and there is a strong element. You can imagine that you are on some sort of harpoon and you're being whoop, cat, get caught. And you will be pulled back. Okay, being pushed, sustaining it, keeping integrity. Run, run, run. Sustaining as we pull back. And here, thinking of the outer force, again, for the simplicity. If someone would be pulling your foot, if some, I would be having a, a rope, a, a string attached to the foot, and it just pulled back, and somebody would also have another uh, string on my knee, to bring it forward. So it would be like I've been pulled by someone into opposite directions and I'm, I'm able to maintain certain indifference to it. So I can be very neutral when this thing is happening. And for some moments we need this. Here, where you can visualize that either you have a steam under your arm and it moved from, from underneath. You can imagine that you're being tortured and somebody pulling your arm to the side. I don't really care, just visualize anything that, it, that you are moved. Or maybe you're just slowly lifted by, by the pulley. Good. Now, going up, what will be the external force? Let's feel one would be somebody hooked to our head Ooh, and pulling us up through. So this will give us a certain sense of lightness. We've been taking, we've been taken off the ground. The other one is somebody applying a hoses with a strong pressure of water to our feet, but this will already be a little more like a external yeah, or internal. So we can start you know, with somebody carrying our ourselves like in a seat. Picking ourselves as we're sitting. You can visualize somebody holding you under your armpits Ooh, and bringing you up. So you only need to keep the discipline of your mind. And then think that somebody moving you like forward. So again, I'm not doing it, but it moved. And the simplicity of your upper part can sustain. And going back, feel the wind pressing us over the foot. Wind from the side, move, punch in the shoulder, punch another shoulder, feeling the hold is from the sole of our foot to the top of our head. And we move. Now, so we're pulling our toe back and the knee forward. Steam. Now we're pulling our head up and the leg goes forward. And I'm close.
closing my pop-up window here. Let's try and do it now from inside. For this, uh, maybe let's just do a, a, a quick warm up, a quick little idea of starting, let's say, first starting in the foot and then visualizing the movement like a pinball, like a ball in this game, which bouncing crazy in different directions. Ping, 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 ping. So how we can, for example, start it from the, from the floor, you're initiating it, and then how it can, for example, come to your side part. Let's try again, food, and then will it be a simple in and side? Will it be in and let's say, make it a more complicated trajectory from the foot to your center, through the hip around, and then through a little contraction on the, on the, then to the arm. So it will be whoosh, 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 boom. Yeah, or it, it will just skip any side and go through the foot, through the belly, into the sternum, and go, let's feel how it can stuck, let's say in the throat, like something unsaid, or how it can go, like all the way through the head, that you allow this, like a little ripple effect to be there. Change the leg, try the same, just from the foot to the belly, then whoop, and like there is a direct line for this energy to the arm. Good. And if you know that you initiate it from inside, you probably want to adjust a little bit the, the tone so that if the arm is a little bit harder, then it would be a, a a compromised presentation. So if you want the audience to see the path through your body, the inner flow, then it's important that the condition of your muscle is somewhat softer than the one when you're starting from the foot to the center, the arm would at first react before being filled with this pin ball. And whoosh. Let's try the same, we're picking up, go through into the hip, a little pressure, so then from the ribs, it bouncing back to the spine. So one, two, three, four, gesture. Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh, yes. And now I included head, let's do it without the head yet. Whoosh. So just let's visualize, we brought it up, now a little more, security here when it goes from left shoulder blade think of it i don't know maybe as, as, as serving a ping pong doing a ping pong serve whoosh and your ball is flying out through the head yeah and and let's say the level of your diaphragm is like your ping pong table that you're not crushing through it you know that the if this compression will go too low, then you're serving up a little bit. Good. Uh, let's try the same passage, standing leg, center, and let's say to our throat. When we starting it, but we reserving the right to make a decision afterwards. Yeah, I know it's always interesting when some movement is about to be done. But in, it reverses, and um, it's just a general rule of thumb. If you're able to do something unexpected, you're already a, a fan, you're already a, a favorite for the audience, because ultimately what they have, what they're coming for is to be entertained, and anything predictable is less of entertainment, Anything unexpected is always a reason to to cheer for you and say, yeah, thank you for making for making me see something new, something unexpected. So that's the idea. Let's say when you go through the foot to the to the movement, and you, for example, taking it. Let's just try to think of this little moment of hovering in the area of your throat, 
Ah, and then bring it back on this step inside. Or deciding I bring it down to still go forward. Or if I brought it here, then I'll let you have all of me for like opening uh, and, and falling into the partner's lap. Yep. And then we're also trying to feel how it can go through the head. So <laughs> I, I'm sure you're not watching this crap like Godzilla, <laughs> but in the last movie, Godzilla, like in every movie, probably <laughs> just in the trailer. But yes, I watched it. It's such a crap. Don't waste your time on it. <laughs> so this this beautifully rendered 3D graphics of a, a stream of light or whatever electric force into the into the uh, skies. So how does this energy get go up through your throat, through your mouth, uh, and then you feel like you. You let it out, and now you feel in some way relieved from this stress, or you feel like you've been touched by an angel, and now the movement is different. Yeah. And now let's just try to, to do it. Let's say one little trick here. If somebody would look at you and, and describe some movements which you originated internally, they probably many times would say it's originated in the center, in the like a stomach area. That's something what they need to see and they need to see how emotionally invested you are in the movement. As a performers and the people who producing it, yeah, the audience, if I say they don't know what's happening on the factory, the factory workers know that it's all started with, I don't know, melting iron first and then pouring it into some fancy shapes. So for us, it would be the sense of pressing to the floor because whatever comes to our center comes from the idea of recognizing the support point and how we thinking of increasing the pressure and channeling it into our work. In, and then it can be about love, then it can be about strength, then it can be about pull back. But whatever they will see happening here, we know it's starting there. And that's, I don't know, the beauty of channeling the, the force for the whole body, recognizing your line of gravity, etc., etc., etc. For some design movements, we can feel that the movement is initiated somewhere differently. So, if, for example, let's say for our arm opening, can we feel that it's initiated in the elbow? Yes, we can do it. So, it's like there is a little engine sitting there and I'm just pushing the remote control, but whoa! And then it goes up. Uh, just try a few more times. Yes. Now let's move this gears, this little engines to our shoulders. Can it be? Generally, should not be all the time, but it's absolutely normal to some time express emotion and then let the other things open <sighs> and then send them out. And then we use it. Can we remove these engines to our to our fingertips, to our wrists? Like they're the ones activated, and suddenly, like I don't know, like a little things like, like the little Pac-Man. So as soon as they suck in the, the space around you, you get full of like reaching out. Yeah. So just, just try to feel that it can come into your wrist, into your face. Ooh, and they initiate the move. Okay, get into the same combination, but let's try to 
start and see how it will work when we're initiating from inside. Mm -hmm. uh, a spoiler, it'll feel more fun, but it doesn't mean that the first version should be completely abandoned. We still would like to find in the end some places where feeling of idea of being moved are present. Okay, I believe we started with the right leg forward. And the, like the first impulse, I want you to start from the right foot pressure into your baby. So that's what moves you from some hypothetical split weight into the clear weight place on, over your left. And that's where your psoas gets teamed up with the foot pressure with some tone in your quad and Achilles. And you being kind of um, pulled into some uh, surrealistic portal. And um, here is one of the Actually, from two coaches who is of a great skill, it, this particular idea of you want to present speed, you have to be super active in this diaphragm area. So I believe first one was Karen Hardy. He, uh, she was a partner of Brian Watson before Carmen. And recently somebody posting quite a few of the videos and she was saying like, I think to Maria, Maria, if you want to respond to his knee faster, you really want to feel that the impulse coming here, whoop, and then you let your leg follow. That this is a part when motivated, uh, engaged, really help us with a dynamic weight shift. And when the weight is shifting, the leg will be there. And I believe the other was Corky Ballas. He also a big fan of talking dynamics, talking about body parts, how they incorporate this dynamic. There was one element where my student, she heard him and she was like leaning towards me and me to run away. We spent quite some time of finding how from this angle, hand hold or chest hold, she would need to find the mobilization and contraction in this, like a diaphragm, a little bit lower than solar plexus, whoosh, and this will be the, the burst to, to, to create transition from the simple force of the levers into your personal dynamic of movement. And you see, we still did make <laughs> two steps with this internal thing. Ready, uh, split way from the right leg to your baby, and now from the left leg deep into a diaphragm. Whoosh. Okay. And now, if I'll just turn myself facing you, you're right. And here you play the same technical trick we already discussed increasing pressure with your foot, feeling how the energy gets pumped pushed into a lower center and you continually a little bit higher. And that's where inside you create this diversion and you basically, you like, uh, uh, you need to look at some, at some times like uh, people who doing the Rubik's cube professionally for the championships. Yeah, <laughs> when I know record is probably like, less than 10 seconds or maybe 15 seconds. Okay, ready. Rubik's cube is done. So something similar to you, when you're pressing floor, groin area, low belly diaphragm, and then a little bit of the left and shoulder blade and the rib around, whoosh, and you created this thing inside you, which ready to move you. And now let's see that we don't really need for this particular step to turn. So that's why it would be again, pressing, finding it, redirecting it inside from the back of your right 
pelvic bone across your cortex to the left ribs, to the left diaphragm, whoosh, and walk. And then the same thing, would keep our arm a little bit open to feel that we have a lever for the change of direction. I see myself with a big delay. Can you see me okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, and we made our, our journey to the side step. So here, think of yourself like of a chameleon tongue. Ooh. But it's unfolding, grabbing the, the flight and rolling back in. So at this moment, we are ready to unfold and we go deeper inside. And that's how we start chasing our imaginary fly there. Whoosh. So at this place, when we're running, uh, I still believe we don't need to initiate something in between. That's all balance is, is simple enough, and, uh, unless it's a humorous way of watch, to do things that we just need to simply go forward and uh, don't make too much thinking there. Preparing, folding in, unfolding, rolling. And here, I probably there are a bunch of options. One would be, of course, the obvious one. You're hanging over and pressing into your belly. And uh, I would say I go a little bit on the bend with you. Whoosh. No, it can be done in any way. There is no particular need to do one or another. Let's stick to the straight leg. I think some of our students will benefit uh, working this discipline of changing direction <laughs> from a straight leg, a right, staying on the ball of the foot, if you can, on your very high heels. Uh, yes, I don't, I haven't ordered my high heels yet to, to check how it actually feels. Uh, okay, all right. Over your left. Even staying on the ball of the foot. Okay, let's lay it flat. And now, as we're lifting the heel, we recognize the activation of the arch. And this activation goes through the groin area to the belly. And that's something we can, we can use for our movement. Here, the same thing. From inside means it needs to be collected before disembursed, distributed. I don't know, disembursed probably. Ah, I don't know. Like I'm speaking fluent, but some words are like, shit, maybe it's totally not below here. Is disembursed working or not? Is it like given? Okay, forget about it. Uh, collecting, and now feeling that it's not pulled, but it's pushed from my same leg into the lunge. And then let's notice if there is a chance to recognize this moment of pressure on the back foot and doing a little in ball, uh, right ball, left ball of the foot, belly, chest, foot replacement. And it might not necessarily be seen by the audience, but I would like you to recognize a power line from the back foot to the chest and only then replacement of the front foot. And here as we go through the inside, really you can do something different with your arms. You can feel like they being pulled in and then from inside you do that or that they Pull down again because, like a little cycle, you 
you pressing in and you need some way to be contributed to increase pressure. Now, as I will be finding this energetic pressure, charging my center, that something what will pull my leg across and this whole cycle repeating itself. And uh, we do non-stop, trying to find as many internal initiations as we can. And two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, one. Wow. Ooh. One. And two, three, four, one, two, three, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So it's much more uh, complicated, yes? Yes. And let's do one more time. I'll dance with you. I don't know how many details you'll see. I'll and then I'll, I'll look at you and give some comments. Ready? Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four one two three four one two three Sweating. Maybe I'm just eat too many pilmenis. That's why I'm sweating. But I feel one more and I'll start drinking. Okay. Probably after free step running, just barely holding up there. Hey, Nikolai, count faster, please. I'm already falling somewhere. Um, but if you're not falling after your run, run, run. I invite you to try different centers. How you can feel that you can be pulled back, let's say, from a little hook in your groin area. Groin area. Uh, because in Russia, in Russian language, groin can be used as a singular, as a plural. And as I understand in English, it's only singular. Yes or no? On, on, somebody corrected me. I said groins, and they say like, no, you don't use uh, groins in a plural way. Just groin area, yeah? Just okay, got it. So that's your one option. Another option is to think like, I know, it's not as big difference, but belly button, so a little bit different. Here, lower, belly button, and the other, for my, <sighs> Body, I know that between my like waist area and chest area, my chest area is much more stiff. So the moment when I want to visualize a, a pulling from the solar plexus, it feels I know much more resistant and much more limited. But still, it can be duh, like like a painful exhale through the top of your chest. Yeah, and then who knows, maybe you can go there and feel like you initiated from the head. Carefully, of course, don't, don't fall back on your furniture. 
even from these nations, of course, you would like to come in unless there is a partner to hold you into some trick. And uh, I guess one last thing. The moment I'm preparing to run forward, it feels that just rolling that way is not enough. I feel that if I really want to feel like mm, my movement is moving forward, let's say like a, like a river stream, that's something like the river finds, the water finds a way to, to feel the, the shape of, of the shores. I know. So here, when getting ready, I feel that it's picked up here, process. It is still super important that I'm not going there flat, that I'm finding a action. It's like, I'm making a little, a little faucet uh, right underneath my shoulder blade, right here. Like I have a tiny thing which can be turned, bim, bim, bim. And after my boom, boom, boom preparation, that's the part which inevitably need to be activated to lead one of the sides forward. Because if it's not done, then ultimately I feel I'm very compromised on my landing. That it's, uh, it, it, will, it will feel a little more like a length, like a stick. Like a, a wooden plank, we just falling and and like oh, yeah. or like something more round, which you can like kind of send into falling and it, it will just roll. Like just recently, I was trying to do some experiments with my baby, uh, how she would be falling, of course. And the moment like when her butt goes off the couch, it's just like a thing. It's like, oh, and like, and she's almost on the ground without like doing any movement like a plate, but more like a like a little wax, melting wax. So let's just check. Let's let's try on both legs. Let's turn your right, and you're about to run forward towards me from the floor to the low belly to the diaphragm. And when you feel that it come almost towards your armpit, that's where you're deciding, okay, diversion or detour, and you sending this towards one side. And then you're running more gracefully. There is more projection prior. When I was doing it, I also felt extra engagement on the side of my thigh and glute medius which gives me extended support as I'm going off balance. So let's just do again. Foot through the leg, lower belly, diaphragm, up to your collarbone and armpit, and now a little diversion. Rib area on the right is closing, and left side is projected, and you feel that you well, in there. Gene, it's possible what you're doing, but you're a little bit overturning. So that will be a little more of a uh, Arabic style. Yeah? Uh, so see that, well, look again, I think the light here goes pretty clear that my Standing packs goes into the shade while my left packs goes into the light. Sorry, it did work with this light. <laughs> okay, okay. Jean, I see your right hand in front. No, don't do this, please. Feel that, okay, uh, I'm, I'm staying on my no, no, let's say like like you are your mirror. So the moment when you get here and you do the diversion, 
you don't do this because now it's a little confusing which side leading so you need your standing side to stay and uh, give me a second i'll i'll No, I think it will be visual. It's not visual. So we have this tripod and the little regulator here. So every time you're turning it, it's like <laughs> I need to do 50, 50 turns to, to reduce it a little bit. So it's like, like you're turning this thing and, and then you need to keep turning to achieve, I know, extension or, or, or reduction. So when you keep turning it, you have boom, 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 like the space. Let's say like this. Jin, the space between me and your uh, left uh, boob need to reduce. And your right side is there to bring your left side closer to me. And that's how you're making a step now. Yes. Yes, 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 exactly. Here, one, two, three. Yes, so even at the time of landing, you feel like your standing shoulder blade and ribs are still performing uh, two functions, like we say, pressure and using, anchoring and sending. Almost, just keep your arms placed. Okay, so let's do the same on another leg. Pressure, belly, Yes, and when it's all the way under your armpit, feel the change in your left and right rib cage. One will deflate and one will inflate and be projected forward. Yes, yes. Um, so, Susan, if, I, if I'll give you a task, think of a, a tricky task to to squeeze a balloon so what you want to do in this case is to like cover as much surface and and even like when you're shrinking there will be still some part popping up so think about the area of your uh, whatever standing side is now is your left of your lung area rib and lung so think that you want to compress it from every angle, from the bottom, from the top, from the side, from in. So it create it, it compressed. And when it's becoming compressed, you can steer it and this will move the right side forward. That's better. Why I make this image of like trying to squeeze a balloon? Because you approaching it a little bit like Okay, squeeze it, and you're pushing with one finger at balloon, and it's just expanding in other areas. Yeah, or like even if you push with two fingers, it's still expanding. So it's not just one particular place, but it's attempt to engage uh, the whole, a few different muscle groups to create this discipline around this area from the front, from the back, from the side, from the bottom, from the top, whoosh. And then when it's organized, then you're steering it to move. That's already much better. I would only say it was not supported enough from the bottom. So how you think of the lung area and how you create a support. So when you will be pressing into your balloon, it will not just be moved, it will be still kept in place, whoosh, and then moved further. Yes, Jim, better, better. Okay, let's do it uh, a little faster. Right leg in front. And two and three and four and one, two, uh, three, four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
So improvement i saw clear improvement to then gene think of the same that your lung area you want to tighten it up from every angle so there is no leaking it is contained just more compressed so i'm containing it and then i'm creating a, a turn to the right and then we'll move in to the next step. Two, three, four, foot, low belly, and from under the armpit through the well supported lung to the right side. What? And that's how, let's now try through the solar plexus to feel recover what? Push in. Feel a little wave or something to give your arm. Here you can be a little more experiment. What your inner charge can be applied for. Yeah? Okay, let me count, and I would like to see the, the second version, and then we'll do the first, and then we'll see just the idea of how you can feel. Oh, that's a place where I totally feel like I want to be moved. And even if the second version feels like ultimately much more interesting, much more rich, you want to throw a few of the first one just for the variety. Because if it's all like the most uh, sweet and juicy fruits, and after eating it, I know a week in some tropical hotel, I would ask, can I have a rye bread with a herring, with a marinated herring on top of it? Because I'm really, I really miss it. Yeah. Okay, let's do it then. Through the inside. Right leg in front, and two, and three, and four, and one, 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 and two, three, four, one, two, Three, take your time, ready for the back step. Two, three, four, and one, and two, one, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One. Yep. And just for the sake of variety, let's do the first version. Keeping the integrity, feel still. You can look in it. Mm. What will be the word? Um, let's say we can see it more in a classical ballet when the, the leading male. He would need to portray that he carried by the force of love towards, I don't know, towards uh, Olivia. <laughs> uh, Juliet, of course. Or, or Orfe and yeah, every day. You, you really, I don't know how you pronounce English. Yes. So, and then when he's carried by this force of love, it can look um, uh, empowered. It can look uh, oh, vocabulary sucks. Uh, empowered, but in, enlightened. Yes, like his movement is 
enlightened by this uh, graceful, um, by this noble feelings, and that what carries him. So that's absolutely appropriate to 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 have in your movement. So ready. So you visualize all the classical ballets, and deep inside, I know you're thinking about either fruits or the rye bread with herring. Marinated herring. <laughs> okay, ready. You moved by the outer force. And two and three and four and one and two and and four and one and two, three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ready, two, three and four, one and two and three and four, one, two, three and four, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, yes. And I know some movements feel okay. It's obvious here. Some movements feel a little strange because you want to initiate it on your own. Let's do very last time and see if on some of the runs or the first step you don't want to go so deep inside yourself but you just want kind of how we, we, we visualizing is, is a good thing practically you just tightening everything inside and from the foot to the top of your head it goes whoosh like process directly without any articulation inside yeah okay Ready, your reach internal version. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ready, two, three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, and two, three, and four, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, one, two, three, four, one. Yep. Okay, I think that's it for this little part of exploration. As much as we tried some imagery and moving ourselves quiet and uh, elegant, we also explored how the opposite side of the scale would look like with all the passage inside and bring it in first before deciding how we will distributed to our lips, yeah? Okay, thank you for your attention.